I'm not going to be on this article long at all. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to show the article because it only talks about uh, Jimmy Carter and his fall at home. Okay, now, one thing I've never been able to understand or overstand or understand or outerstand or whatever stand you choose uh, to go by. One thing I was never able to overstand is someone falling and ending up with a black eye. Now, when I was growing up, I've always known black eyes to come from people being punched in the eye and it would leave them with a shiner. But he's got a black eye and he's got stitches on his head, above his eye. He could have fell, but did he fall with help? Now, from women that's abused or in abusive relationships or a lot of domestic violence that take place in the home, a lot of females will go to work and their co-workers were asked, what happened? And she would reply and say, I fell. And they're looking at the fact that she's got a black eye and in some cases, two black eyes and some bruises. And I'm sure in their mind, they're thinking to themselves, how did that happen? Did you like just fall on your face? Did you fall on that one eye that happens to be black? Well, in Jimmy Carter's respect, it's red. It looks kind of, uh, what's the term? Not, not It's like a ruby red. Um, but it looks like somebody punched him. So I'm wondering if Jimmy Carter was battered abused, or he might have said something foul or out of the way that caused someone to punch him in the eye. Now, I've never really had a problem with Jimmy Carter. I started to not really respect Jimmy Carter when he started attacking Trump, he jumped on the bandwagon of attacking Trump. And I've always felt that if you guys are presidents, if you are presidents of the United States, you all have something in common, especially when people are playing politics against you, especially when you're in the media being trashed by the media. You all share something in common. So you would think that you would have each other's back. But they turned their backs on President Trump. Whether they felt he was right, wrong, whether they agreed with him or not, if you didn't agree with him, silence is the best policy. Silence is golden. But when he turned his back, on a fellow president, then like my mom used to say, my grandmom used to say when I was growing up, he dropped his candy in the sand with me, right? So I don't sympathize for him. I don't have no sympathy for him, none at all. I don't feel sorry for him. But that does not look like a fall. I used to box. I was into the martial arts. I wrestled and I was good at what I did. And I'm still good at what I did or what I do. But I've never seen a black eye come from falling. I've never seen it. I've seen that kind of black eye when someone was punched, but not falling. He just happened to fall on that eye and it turned black. So he started doing what a lot of women do that's in battered relationships or I fell. That's the typical excuse for someone that's being battered and abused. I fell. So what do you think? Do you think he, he fell and blackened his eye? 
Have you ever seen a blackened eye like that come from falling? So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, share the video, click on the cash app button and donate to the channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.